Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how I do a quick gradient using magnetic polishes and the Lena Make Your Mark 03 plate, the blank image here. Um, I really like using this to do gradients because it's just so quick and I think just a lot less messy than it is to do it using a sponge just because the stamped image um, dries so uh, uh, quickly. So um, here we go. Okay, so I'm doing a diagonal gradient today and so I just lay two stripes sort of side by side diagonally then I just scrape a few times blending it a little bit then pick that up okay and then I'm going to stamp that on the nail okay and as you can see that's opaque enough that I could just stop there but because I want to make sure a that it um, blends a little and that um, the that there's enough magnetic um, particles for both colors because I use the great uh, base of this one the Masora pyramid of Cheops and then the other color I'm using is Masora um, Kashmiri chili and they're similar but once you see the magnetic on you'll see that the effect is different so even though it is on the more subtle side of a gradient, I really like how these colors look together. So I'm doing one more coat, just blending that, picking that up, and then Not sure that sticks. Okay. Then what I'll do is take off the liquid latex. A stray bit that didn't come off then clean that up For that I'm going to apply my quick dry top coat then apply the magnet and I'm going in the opposite direction of the um, diagonal gradient because I want the magnet to go across both colors and um, because I haven't applied the magnet before or yet to this I am going to make sure I hold it for a good long time to uh, set the line um, while the top coat is um, drying here
Okay. And there you go. And hopefully you can see that on camera that the colors are different. Um, and that, that you can see that on some of these other nails as well. And I'm going to actually continue on and show you the second part of this, which is the stamping. This particular um, uh, magnetic uh, polish challenge called for stamping at least two nails and uh, along with the gradient. So um, I'm going to use this image from Lena Twirls and Swirls, which is one of my new favorite, favorite plates, um, just because I love swirls and I love twirls and scroll designs. I just think that they are um, fantastic to add a little accent to um, all different kinds of designs. So um, I'm going to show you on two other nails. What I'm going to do here. And because I really only want to pick up that image, I'm going to scrape way that away. Hopefully I can just pick up. Okay, that didn't work. I think because my scraping is bad going away from me. Or I didn't clean it well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is flip this plate around so that I can scrape downward. Okay. And there you go. And I'm going to add that sort of right along. Oh, I probably did that off camera. I'll do that again. But um, I'm adding it like sort of right along the magnetic gradient line so that um, you can see the difference between those two. So let me do that again since I pretty sure I did that off camera. Okay, so I see that. And see that on the nail. Um, along that line and there you go thanks for watching